Startling statistic from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Alabama has the highest prescribing rate of opioids in the nation. And in the midst of this epidemic, Shelby County is making changes to lower the number of cases. In our special report, Alabama's opioid crisis, CBS 42's Malik Rankin adds a story of a man whose addiction is now his driving force to help others. The road to recovery looks different for everyone. For John Stakely, his addiction changed his life and he considers it a blessing. He now uses his story to help others across Shelby County. I had a, a very good friend that um, when I had gone too far, my wife would call and he would come and get me and you know I'd wake up at his house. John Stakely's addiction started as a crutch. He abused alcohol, hydrocodone and other pills. And then eventually that became a habit that became an addiction and really started to negatively affect all areas of my life. His close friends intervened and not only checked him into rehab at UAB, but helped cover the cost. But at the time, you know, it just seems overwhelming. Um, so no, I didn't want to go, but I knew I needed it. I knew deep down inside that this was not something that I could handle in my own strength, my own willpower. Across Shelby County, the drug task force is working to take drugs like these off the streets. They post these photos on their Facebook page to get the community talking. Then we are doing that intentionally because if it stirs a conversation at the dinner table, then we consider that a win. Captain Clay Hammock oversees the drug task force. He says tracking the opioid epidemic isn't so simple. Our overdose deaths in Shelby County are down drastically. However, don't let that number be misleading. Our overdose incidences um, have increased or remained the same. Hammock and Stakely say oftentimes an addiction is accidental when a pain med prescription creates a dependency. As we've tried to change policy and practice, we now have clinicians who are instead of prescribing a month or two months worth, they're now prescribing five, seven or ten days worth of prescription pain medication and then telling the patient, if you're still feeling a little bit of discomfort, come back and see me. Since completing rehabilitation three years ago, Stakely has realized the work doesn't end when the program does. The reality is there's uh, shame, guilt, stigma with addiction. So he created Unbound Grace Ministries, helping others through recovery. My desire for Unbound Grace is to walk with people in the context of their real life. After rehab, after sober living, when they come back to their homes, their marriages, their families, their kids, schooling, whatever that is, and learn what it means to live in recovery in the real world. While counseling services can be pretty costly, Stakely services are 100% free, and they're covered by private donors who believe in his work. For resources on addiction or for those who know people struggling with addiction, go to CBS42.com. I'm Malik Rankin, CBS42 News, local coverage you can count on. And all day today, CBS 42 taking a closer look at the opioid crisis here in Alabama and what's being done to tackle the problem in our viewing area. We have special reports in all of our newscasts.